there are some things about Penthouse Mouse that I really enjoyed, and I will give some specific examples, but I will say it is very obvious that this is not a Hanna-Barbera cartoon. Now, I say that, I also need to acknowledge that this is released quite a few years after the majority of the Hanna-Barbera Tom and Jerry cartoons, and with advances in technology, the style of animation is naturally going to change anyway. But I feel like Tom and Jerry look slightly different, they're a little bit softer around the edges, and they have much more prominent facial expressions than ones that are directed by William Hanna and Joseph Barbera. This being released in 1963, of course, and it's directed by Chuck Jones, written by Chuck Jones and Michael Maltese, and it's set outdoors. And that's not a big problem, it's not an issue, it's not a problem with the cartoon, but I do just prefer the ones that are set indoors because there's that comfort, that familiarity of knowing there's a wall, there's Jerry's mouse house, this is the kitchen where a lot of action often happens. When it's set outdoors, it's a lot more unpredictable, but that also means they have a lot of scope to play with new environments and um, new potential dangers. And Tom and Jerry end up having to work together at certain points because the dangers are a threat to both of them. Um, there are certainly things about this that I really enjoyed. The penthouse aspect is about where um, Jerry has been lurking. Tom is there to try and get rid of Jerry and what ensues is a real adventure outdoors as they come across all kinds of dangers, not just endangering each other, but there are various obstacles that endanger both of them. And I won't say any more about that in a minute, I'll give a couple of specific examples with a spoiler warning in case you don't want to know anything. But I will say it's very well animated. I do feel like the detail is an improvement on earlier cartoons, even ones that are just slightly younger. And again, I, I can't exactly identify if that's because of advances in technology over a short space of time, or if it's because we have a different director at the helm and the style is just slightly different. Tom and Jerry's facial expressions, as I said, are a lot more pronounced and a lot more varied. Um, maybe a lot more realistic as opposed to kind of the more comic strip over-exaggerated style. I don't know if that makes sense, but if you've seen it, hopefully you'll know what I mean. I thought it was good fun. It, it flowed very well. Very, very busy. A lot going on at any one time, much more so than a lot of other Tom and Jerry cartoons. Not a bad thing, but certainly different. So a few specific examples of things that I really liked. Um, I liked it <laughs> because I actually didn't expect it. It's when the, the, the sandwich box is falling through the sky. Spoiler warnings, of course. And it just hits Tom in the face. And despite the fact that this is such a classic thing to happen in a Tom and Jerry cartoon, I wasn't expecting it. I also love it when the colour drained from Jerry. I thought that was very effectively done. And when Jerry went inside Tom's head and began to fold in his ears and his features to try and hide him from the danger, um, I thought they were all very well animated and really enjoyable to watch. So the style may be slightly different to the classic Hanna-Barbera cartoons, and I do prefer the comfort of that style. I'm looking forward to watching more of these um, to see kind of what that style is like in other environments. And as a narrative, I thought Penthouse Mouse was pretty good.